The boundaries of indigenous music are constantly being tested. Let's go to the studio and meet MJ Dandano, who is mixing her Métis heritage with something jazzy. One, two, one. So this project is about taking Métis fiddling tunes and meshing it with modern sounds and creating this new voice. When you're looking to this generation, they're not really listening to what our grandparents are listening to. So to revive that, you need to give them something that they will listen to. I think I'm not putting a a genre to it because I want it to be free-flowing. I want it to be open enough to, to hit anybody who wants to listen to it. MJ has always been an ideas person. She thinks of something and she makes it happen, which is amazing. A lot of people have great ideas, but they don't actually go the next step. You're making a soup, you're adding different spices and you're tasting that, that soup and you're like, oh, this could be this. And then you're tasting it again, oh, this could be that. After 15 years and performing on more than 30 albums, MJ has put together this all-star group. Drummer Daniel Waugh, fiddler Jeremy Pinner, and keyboardist Mark Arnold. You need to surround yourself with a family who understands what you want to create because that family feeds the energy that you're creating. Awesome. That was good. I think it was kind of a natural evolution for her to sort of think about the Métis tradition in musical terms and to see what could be done with it in, in actual terms. I want to, to make my ancestors proud, first of all, to help keep our tradition and our culture alive. It was MJ's fiddle playing dad who got her started in the music. I started playing when I was about two years old. I just watched my dad play the fiddle. I, I'd grab two little sticks and imitate my dad. And, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, uh, he just turned around and said, you want to play the fiddle? So he'd give me a fiddle. I find like it's important to talk to elders and make sure that they know that they are heard by sitting down with them and learning about the history of these Métis tunes. Where do they come from? Who were playing that? That's Beautiful. such a nice one. Right. Hey, uh, Jeremy, yeah. can you play the phrasing at the end? The, the two last... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah. There's this whole story of unfortunate, that sort of shameful, shunned Métis history that so many of us are, are trying to figure out. We can't undo things, but we can bring back the pride and the connection we have with that heritage. And fortunately, music is like the best vehicle to do that with. Oh my God, I love this culture. I want to learn more about it. I'm honored to know about it, you know?